are you hope all of you are very good and staying safely at your home by this time all of you know that we are going on in a very bad situation and uh, because of coronavirus our school is closed and we are not taking your class already we skip our first time exam but we are hopeful for our second term that's why we started our online class to help you so i am soli parvin from campus 4 i will take your elementary science class of class 4 in your second term syllabus your chapter will be started from chapter 2 so at first i want to give you some idea of this chapter that's why i will start your reading and understanding so i hope all of you will follow me properly so let us start so student just follow me this is your chapter 2 chapter name is plants and animal if i ask you what is plant what is animal so i think that both of you will give answer that all both are living things though both are living things but also there are some basic differences between this two so can you tell me what is the differences between plants and animal yes i know you learned in class 3 uh here follow that what is the differences between plants and animal here are some questions if you solve this question obviously you will understand that yes there are some basic differences between plants and animal if you give the answer how do they get energy so plant get energy from sunlight you know animal get energy from food what body parts do they have by this time you know that plants have some different body parts like leaves stem trunks branches etc animal have some body parts like hands leg belly ear eyes etc and how do they move from place to place and obviously you know that plants cannot move from one place to another place but animal can move animal including human being some other animal also here like fish birds tiger lion etc all these are animal so you already understand that yes there are some basic differences between plants and animal if you go in next page you will see that summary plants differ from animals in many aspects there are three points main points by these three points you will get idea that why what is the difference between plants and animal making food is one point second point is body part third point is movement so making food you know that plants cannot make plants can make their own food by themselves because plants are self dependent they make their own food by the presence of sunlight and water but animal are not able to make their own food they are dependent on other plants and animal for their food okay so you understand that there is a difference and second point is body part body part is another part already i told you that plants have different body part like roots stem and leaves some other body part also here and animal have body parts such as limbs fins or wings i told you that uh, not only human being is animal but also there are some other animal like birds fish like tiger different types of animal here and they are different different body parts some have fur yes some animal have fur in their body like as for example you can say the polar bear you can also say the name of sheep all their body is covered with fur or some have scale scale means eyes bengal meaning of scale is eyes which we can see in fish yes you got the answer we can see the scale only in fish most of the animal also have eyes ears mouth and noses to help them live yes some animal have eyes ears mouth and noses by this body they can live in the environment okay next point is movement movement means how can they move from one place to another place already i told you that and i hope all of you know that plant 
cannot move from one place to another place if you see in your environments you will see that yes plant is rooted in a fixed place so they have no leg they are fixed in on soil by their roots okay so uh, but animal can move some animal can move by their limbs some by their wings some by their fins fin is the body part of fish queen is the body part of birds and human being or other animal have limbs or legs by this they can move from one place to another place so from these three points you can distinguish the differences between these plants and animal next page living things in their environment here plants in the environment so you know all plants all animal they live in the environment okay so um, plants get all the necessary things from the environment animal also get everything from the environment but plants grow in many places plants grow in many places like some plants can grow on soil some in water but some can grow both on soil both in water okay uh, suppose uh, can you give the example which plant can grow only on soil yes you got if you say mango tree jackfruit tree banyan tree all these plant grow only on soil but some plants can grow only in water like water lily yes water hyacinth yes it can be example which plant can grow in water but some plants grow both on soil and in water can you give the example yes helenthia yes helenthia is the example for this type of plant okay now go in next page summary habitat of plants which one i discuss here they describe it here habitat of plants if i ask you what is habitat can you give me the answer yes you already learned it in your first term so habitat is special place where plants and animal can live or grow yes some plants like mango berry jackfruit etc grow in bright sunny place and we can find some plant like mosses and ferns in shady and moist places the place sunny place that means sufficient sunlight reach there in that place mango berry jackfruit can grow but some places are very much shady and moist sufficient sunlight can reach there these places are suitable for mosses and ferns types of plants uh, if you go in this picture you can see that yes moss on the wall this building is very much old and sufficient sunlight on cannot reach here so this place is suitable for this type of mosses and fern types plus okay now water hyacinth and water lily i told you these two types of plant can live only in water okay and call me helen etc these two type of plants i think you heard this name we eat this type of plant uh, this can grow both in water and on soil sometimes we can see this colmia and helenthia on soil sometimes it can grow in water okay this is the habitat of plants now go in next para some plants grow in salty environment environment is salty this type of salty environment you can see the southern part of bangladesh that means if you go in khulna region you will see this type of environment uh, do you know the name of sundarbon yes sundarbon is the biggest forest of bangladesh and this sundarbon is situated in the khulna region and sundarbon is such kind of environment in bangladesh that means salty environment the plant grow in this environment are different from other region in this region whose plant can grow they are completely different from other part of bangladesh okay these plants are nematophore for breathing nematophore it a shashmol that means if you go in sundarbon you will see that their root is like this we know that all the root of the plants 
go under the soil but the root of this plant which grow in Shundurbon their root just upward going upward like this okay and Shunduri Goran Keura the example of such kind of plants this type of plant only grow in Shundurbon which we cannot see in the other part of Bangladesh there are some plant which grow on the big trees such as Shonolotan Rasna. Shonolota Rasna is another type of plant which can grow on other plant which we can say that is parasite. The Bengali meaning of parasite is porojibi that means this type of plants can grow on other plants and they live on that plant and they take everything from that plant. Okay and now 15 number page animal in the environment number one point we learned plant in the environment number two point animal in the environment like plants animal also can live in different different environment such as land water tree and hill so if i ask you which animal can live on land you can say that yes human being obviously live on land water in water you will give me the answer obviously fish and crocodile and many other plant animals are there they can grow in water tree tree is very much suitable for bird and hills some plants uh, sorry some animal can live only in hilly area which animal live in which places if you study you will understand that this is summary so habitat of plants different animals live in different habitat some animals such as rat some animals uh, live on burrows that means in hole this plants this animal besides some animal live in soil like plants some animal live in bushes or woods in bushy area some birds or squirrel live in nest in the trees and in the tree hole some insects live in tree like butterflies and bees some fish live in water some animal like frog turtle crocodile they live both on land and in water okay so you will read this name of this animal you will understand clearly if you read this next page number three point diversity of plants and animal based on habitat here we have already come to know that plants and animal live in different habitat already we know that and there are different types of habitat such as land wetland ocean desert forest and polar region this these are the name of the habitat of animal or plants okay different habitat have different characteristics yes different habitat have different different characteristics plants and animal adapt themselves in different ways to survive in those different habitat so we know that different different habitat are there here some habitat name of some habitat number one is desert habitat number two forest habitat number three wetland habitat number four ocean habitat and number five is uh, polar habitat okay so student next class i will continue your reading and understanding and then i will give you your uh, question answer and many other things so i think all of you will read this these pages which one i discussed today and this is your homework you will just read this these pages next class i will again come and take your class by this uh, up to this please read your book properly this is my suggestion and next class i will come again uh, bye bye everybody